Hello everyone. Let us provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have 2x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared equals 40. Okay, if we are going to deal with this, remember that 2 is common to all of them. So we can just reduce this equation by dividing this by 2 and by 2. This will go so that x to the power of 4 will be alone. Plus here we have x squared because this will go there. And then the whole of this is equal to 40 over 2 which will give us some 20, right? Now the next thing is to take everything to the left hand side x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 20 is equal to 0 okay and then what do we do from here remember that this is the same thing as x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 16 minus 4 equals 0 because minus 16 minus 4 will give us some um, 20. Now, remember that we can still express this in this form. x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus, okay, let me use 4, minus 4 squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Remember 4 squared will still give us some, um, will still give us some um, 16, right? Now, let's rearrange this. We have x to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. I'm rearranging this so that I can, you know, factorize this. But then, remember that this can also be broken down. So we have x squared to the power of 2 then minus 4 squared plus x squared minus 4 equals 0 so what i'm going to do now is to group it like this okay let me use this group it like this and factorize this and then factorize this one as well okay if it is possible now let's continue from here now we have two you know, we're having difference of two squares, right? And according to difference of two squares, if you have a squared minus b squared, this will give a plus b into a minus b, right? So, applying the same thing here, I will have x squared plus 4. Close this up. And then, in the other, I will have um, x squared minus 4 right okay then plus from here again we have um, x squared minus 4 you can have this in brackets if you have to and this will be equal to 0 now what do I do next factorize here we have x squared minus 4 in two places so let's factor out x squared minus 4 and if this comes out now We'll have another bracket where we have this. Okay, this is x squared plus 4, right? Okay, and then here, what is going to be here will be 1. Because x squared minus 4 divided by x squared minus 4 will give us 1. So, close this. And this is equal to 0. Now, we have x squared minus 4 in this. Then, in the other, we have x squared plus 5. And this is equal to zero and at this point we can apply um, zero product rule I remember what that says it says that either of these or both of these are equal to zero so x squared minus 4 is equal to zero or x squared plus 5 is equal to zero okay for the sake of emphasis we are going to provide all the solutions right okay so from here now remember that this is the same thing as x squared equal to 4 or on this side we have x squared to be equal to minus 5 
Now, let me deal with this one first. From here, we have to take the square root of both sides. Then, this will be equal to a positive or negative square root of 4. Okay? So, this square root and the square will cancel. X will now be equal to positive or negative. We have square root of 4, which is 2. So, this means that from here, we have our X1, which is equal to 2. And we have our x2, which is equal to negative 2. Okay, so now we have two values of x. But then, from here, let's get the other values of x. We have x squared to be equal to minus 5, right? Then we have to take the square root of both sides as well. And if we do, we have square root of x squared to be equal to positive or negative square root of minus 5. Then, what do we do from here? Square root and this can always cancel each other, right? So, x will now be equal to plus or minus square root of 5 multiplied by square root of negative 1. I have to split this because you cannot, you know, get your square root of negative 5 without having a complex, um, solution so from here x will be equal to we have from um, plus or minus square root of 5 right but then what will be the square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 will give us i but then we are multiplying because this i here is not under the square root sign now right okay now let's go back to split this into two we have that x now will be equal to i square root of 5, right? Or i square root of, okay, negative, right? One is going to be negative and the other will be positive. So this is negative, this is positive, and this is now negative. So from here again, we have two solutions, which will be x3 to be equal to positive i root 5 and our x4 to be equal to negative i root 5. Now let me bring these four solutions together so that we know that yes we have solved this completely. So our x1 is 2, our x2 is minus 2, our x3 is i root 5 and our x4 is negative i root 5. So, these are the four solutions to the problem. Thank you for watching.